so I'm trying to go around it to do it all. So here we go. So now, again, I do have a little wooden palette, but you can again cut um, that out of um, cardboard, or you can use the huge button if you have one. So all what I'm doing right here is just simply hot gluing um, the flutes I created earlier to um, the circle of, in my case, it's a wooden, but you can do, you can use any circle you like. <coughs> I mean, wood, I mean, you can use the buttons. As you can see, and I think I did not have enough of them. Usually, nine of them were plenty, but I think I got to cut more. Um, because I do like my um, flower full. So all what I'm trying to do is when I hot glue them, I try to hide, um, overlap the previous glued um, flute with the new one. See, yeah, I think I do need a couple more. But here we go. You're going to actually, uh, I'm going to actually cut it quickly. So here is my burlap. As you can see, I cut a little piece and then I cut it in half because I think I only need two. There we go. And again, you do it on the inside. And then you meet the corners from whatever you started to hot glue. You meet the other end and create the little float. I, I have to tell you, I've done those flowers so many times. Um, but I always get the brain freeze when I, uh, um, when I have to do this, when I have to make them. But, but you know, what I like to use those flowers is for um, another pretty decoration for uh, gift wrapping, for... Um, a little detail on the signs that I make. Um, I love them with the grapevine um, wreaths. I just make them in a different uh, colors depending on the season, but you can't go wrong with a burlap one. It goes all year round. So here we go. It's the decision. Do we have to introduce? I usually put the wooden bee, but um, guess what? We've been talking buttons in the last couple of days, so why don't we use the button? It actually does look good. So now what I like to do is a lot of times is when I have a um, softer twine or jute, softer jute, um, I usually tie a little um, bow around my button, but I guess it's not happening here because this jute is stubborn. So um, when you're going to be in the store, Buying that, don't buy a big spool like I have because I don't know why I even bought it. I think I was just buying it for the coasters and the uh, um, chargers. But I don't know. But either way, there's going to be a lot of jug projects happening soon. So as you can see, as I'm just creating a little loops and adding um, that interest that I would have otherwise do with a simple bow or double bows with the uh, softer um, jute. So as we do this, come and tell me, where are you from? How far my video goes? I mean, I am really curious how far uh, my little videos are going. And I really hope that I am, that you are, in, you know, um, enjoying my project, a little project that I do with you. And that they usually take, um, you know, five, ten minutes to make. But here we go. So as I, as I do it, I wish you could see in a situation like this. Here we go. I think I'm going to add one more. Nope, I did it. You see, when I'm looking right now on the picture, I would have had at least a couple more loops. But either way, it's done. The girl in the video, I guess, must have seen something else than I see them <laughs> looking at the video. <laughs> so, 
but to be clear, it's me doing this. Okay, so um, what I like to do is, again, because I do not have that little um, details out of my um, ribbon, out of my uh, bow that I usually do in the front, I am going to create those little leaves and little um, vines on the back of my um, flower. See, I love it. I just love little details here and there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just simply making a little loop. Um, this time it's going to be a smaller and putting them inside, but I'm, I, I'm trying to make sure that those, uh, how do you call them, master search or branches or I just go um, in between the previous ones I glued. See, there we go. And I think we're done. You could put the uh, the buttons, as you can see, on the sides. You could put it at in the openings of the uh, flutes, every other one. I'm just going to put a couple of them here and there, just so you see how that looks. But it's, again, it all depends on the application, depends on the project, depends on what do you do. If this is just simply decorating the wreath, or this is decorating the gift, either way. But I'm going to put a couple of them. I hope you're really enjoying and not being annoyed that I take so long to glue the buttons. <laughs> Okay, and now, so we are done, and we're moving to the uh, next flower. I actually do like it. We're going to do one more flower, if you do not mind, so please don't go. So here we go. This one is um, um, the simplest one, and I actually one of my um, favorite ones. Because, first of all, it's easy to make. Second of all, I can use anything. Yarn, uh, burlap, raffia. The stubborn um, uh, jute that I we're dealing with right now. I mean, you can use for that flower literally any material, and it's actually my favorite one. And I love the more layers, the uh, the more I like it. It is actually a pretty quick bow, um, uh, not a bow, the uh, the flower. And again, I've been using it so many times on different wreaths. So what happens here is. Um, I'm cutting around six inch pieces, and this is literally a perfect uh, little project for leftover material. Um, since I do have this big spool, you know, I guess I don't mind cutting them and wasting the material because there's still so much to um, <laughs> that I can, you know, use it for. So as you can see, again, I'm making the half um, hooks. All around my, in my case, wooden palette, palette. But um, you can use the cardboard. You can use the big buttons. But I would say is try to use the button that it's at least um, two inches um, in diameter, because it does look um, the flower does look better when it's bigger. So all what you gotta do here is to. Um, I'm curious. Have you made those flowers? Um, if you did, uh, share the pictures um, in the comments below. I'm okay, so it is a quick project. <clears throat> you just keep so all what I do first is to glue my first loops um, um, in the, on the on the first row, and what I do with the second one, and it's again as you can see. Some loops are bigger, some are smaller, some are wider, some are skinnier. And this is all because this um, jute is um, really dictating what to do with it. Um, so now the second row, I do it in between. 
I don't do it on the top of each other, so I'm trying to create interlocking um, rows to bring more dimension to it. And it's again, I usually try to repeat at least four rows, but we're not going to do this. It's going to take me forever, so you can at least, but I do want to show you the the final product, how that looks. So um, I think I'm going to only do it two or three rows. Or maybe I'm going to stop with two. We'll see. So at least you have an idea. And I, I'm curious, have you made that flower before? It's so much fun. You can also use that, and I've done that too. Um, uh, paint the branches, um, spray paint the branches, and simply attach them and put them in the uh, vase. Um, in a like very um, cool looking, you know, cool shape vase. And have a decoration. I just, I love anything burlap, anything um, twine, rope. As you can see, I'm positive. You know, the only color in, in my in my area right now is my hot gun, hot glue gun. I'm sorry, hot gun. <laughs> Man. Okay, so we are done. So I think I already did. I did only two rows. I mean, it, it you're still going to see the layers, but um, but um, the more the better. No, I guess I'm going still so see this is what happens with that uh twine. The jute. So I don't really do you know the difference between jute and twine? Twine for me it's uh softer. Jute is that coarse one, unpredictable one that I actually do like. But it's very difficult to craft with. Help a bilingual person to figure out. See? Now here's the decision. Wooden bead, should we do, or should we do something else? No, oh, look at this. I guess I did not like it something. It does not look full. Oh, please. I hear one of you. Yesterday, in one of the videos, um, there were people actually not happy that I am taking my sweet time doing those videos. But it's again... Um, I I just do not know how to edit yet, but I promise I will. But on the other hand, is it's good to see the final product and finish the project from the beginning to the end. It's not it doesn't take long. I hope you do not mind. So here we go. I think that's my last piece. Yeah, see, it looks better when there's uh, three rows. No, I guess I'm doing more. And I, what I always say is it, it really doesn't matter if those petals on the flowers are the same uh, size. I actually like them. There is no perfect flowers out there. So um, making them ones bigger, ones smaller, it's actually making them look more um, natural. Nothing is perfect. Okay, so now I guess it's time to make decision. What do we do? Do we go bottom or we go wooden bead? <laughs> it's again, it all depends. Or we go bigger bottom. <laughs> My God, this is what I always have. But usually that decision is being made. Um, depending on what am I using for. Mm, I guess the, the other one, I do like the bead. Come on, let me know which one you like, bead or button. A big button! <laughs> I guess I'm going to use the big button for the simple fact is that the other flower I did with bead um, and button. So here we go. So done. I guess it's time to glue it. Oops. Gotta make sure, press it hard so it doesn't go anywhere. And here we go. It's done. So here is my little gnome that I made from so Dollar this is Tree Mom. The little guy enjoying little a little flower on his hat. That's the first one. I mean, the pictures are not really that good. I'll promise I'll make the better ones tomorrow. 
that um there we go yeah but i think they do look good hope you enjoyed your project and i'll see you here you tomorrow bye